It was great fun. It was great fun. I, I remember being so happy. There's very few jobs where I just, I remember the day I got it, or I remember that feeling when somebody says, yes, you, you, they, they want you to do it. Because it was one of those parts that wasn't necessarily written for a black uh, performer. And I've always seen myself as an actor first, and the fact that I happen to be black is, uh, is by the way. But I, I do understand that some people don't see that in that way. They always think, oh, he's black, and shall he play this part, or should he, or is it possible? So, but it was one of those roles where I absolutely felt that I knew the character and could do the character, but were they going to give it to me? And I know that there, was a, there were a couple of other actors, uh, very well-known ones, in fact, who were also up for it, and they were not black. I was so pleased uh, on the basis that I must have been... <laughs> I know it sounds very boastful, but it felt like I must have been good enough for them to just go, well, it doesn't matter that he's black and we didn't, weren't thinking of him as being black. He's really good and he's the right guy for it. So it, I was very pleased on all sorts of levels. And then and then I got to meet Neil Gaiman, who's just a superstar uh, and, and a sweetheart of a man and very encouraging. And it was the first time he'd had anything uh, come alive. And he was so pleased and, uh, and sort of humble and just lovely. And that character is a dream character. If somebody asked me to play it now, there's very few characters you go, oh, I don't want to revisit that. Most characters, you've had enough of them. But the Marquis, I'd love to revisit. You know, what's not to love? A 200-year-old Marquis living in the underground of London. And the amazing coat, which I said I was going to buy, but they said, oh, we might do a second series, and so uh, we'll keep it. And they did keep it, to the point at which, of course, it's, I believe, been stolen. So, yeah, I'm never, never to be seen again. It'll turn up at some uh, convention somewhere, I imagine. Somebody saying, well, I didn't steal it, but I know, I know a couple of people who knew who did it, uh, but I got mine legitimately. And it would be sold for hundreds of pounds. But, yes, I would love to revisit that character again.